Alright everyone, welcome back. This is part 2 to how to draw a tree tutorial. Last video I left off with just drawing the cylinders and completing the, the whole tree structure. This video will focus on the shading and the uh, detail process of the tree. Alright, so now I've got the tree shaped to the general um, way I would like it to look. So, um, this whole process I was using a mechanical pencil with um, either 2B or HB lead in it, which doesn't really make a difference because they're relatively the same, but I just used that for the initial sketch. For this next part, we're going to be uh, shading it in and making it more volumetric. So for this, I plan on using some charcoal. So for this, see I got some uh, medium and some hard and some extra soft, so that'll be probably alright. Now for this, um, we have to determine which way the light is going to be hitting the tree. So. I'm going to say that the light is coming in in this direction here, like that. Alright, so with this cylinder that I've drawn, if the light is coming in this direction, uh, that means that this portion here will be the darkest, like this, and then as you get to the other side here, it's going to get very light, like that. So I'm going to make this side darker, just like that. Just like this. So that's how you would shade if the light was coming from that direction. So with this, I'm going to start with the base of the tree. I'm going to work with some of the medium. And I'm going to start off with the darker side of this. And I'm going to start shading that in. Now you notice right away that charcoal is very dark. Which I find to be a good thing. Because with a pencil, it really mainly shades of gray. But charcoal, you can really get it like black on the page. The pencil is kind of hard to do that. Now you may be wondering what we're going to do with all of these half circles here. Well the half circles are just placements to just to get an idea of how the tree would move. Um, as far as how to work with them, I just may, mainly ignore them. So like for this part here, this part of the tree would probably come like this into this part of the tree and then everything in here in this area here will get shaded so this part of the tree will come like this so this shadow I'll carry right into it and continue the tree just like that same as over here just carry that shadow all the way in you can have a shadow on this part too just like that And this shadow is going to show on this top part of the branch here, just like that, and then eventually it's going to, the shadow will stop and the, the highlight will come up again. So to demonstrate that better, this part of the tree is in shadow, but because this is in shadow, see light is coming through from here all the way down this way. So because the light is hitting this part of the tree, it's illuminating this side, but causing this side to go into shadow. This shadow, or this, um, the light that hits this also blocks light from hitting this main area right here. So we got this part of the shadow that moves down to here, like that. So we color, uh, shade this in, like that. But then this part of the tree on would be in highlight. You know what I mean? So just like that. All 
All right, I'm gonna go into time lapse again, and I will talk you through the process while it's going. All right, so now we're in time lapse with me shading in the tree. Um, I'm being very cautious as to where I place the shadows. Like I stated before, I want to keep the where the shadow on it darker, while the highlight I want to keep it lighter, and I follow this through the whole drawing. You'll notice that I'm mainly just shading over all the cylinders that I put in. Um, all the lines that are on the top and bottoms of the cylinders, I'm just leaving there. I'm not even erasing them. I'm just going completely over it and just shading in and around them. So um, when you do it, you don't have to erase them, but you can if you want. Uh, I don't even bother because the shading, you don't even see it after you shade the tree in. So um, that's the way I'll do it. Alright, so I'm starting to get towards the outer parts of the tree now. You'll notice that I'm not really doing so much to the um, the uh, the tr really far out tree branches that are uh, on top of the tree. I'm going to leave those for later. I'll get to them. Um, but I'm just uh, mainly finishing up the tree. I'm getting to the uh, outer parts. Alright, so I pretty much got this down to the point that I wanted it to be. Um, and this, for, at this point, uh, I got everything pretty much um, shaded. The only thing I really have left to do is just do a whole bunch of little branches. So I'm going to use the um, hard pencil, or charcoal pencil rather, and I'm going to start right here. The way I like to do this is just to, uh, well, that's way too jagged. But you want to create a line that's almost like a lightning bolt, but I say lightning bolt because of the movement, but not you don't really look, want it to look like a lightning bolt. You just want to create a regular line, and then from any of these uh, little points that create like a little hiccup point there, you want to use that to create another branch, just like that, and then maybe another one right there. So again, what I'm doing is, come up here. I'm creating a line that it's almost like I'm just twisting the pencil in my hand almost so and any one of these points here you create another branch like that something right here one that comes off like this so something like that kind of get what I'm saying so, and you can you can have a heyday with this. So you can just keep going and going. So it's just just gotta get a feel for it. It's just practice. So this is pretty much what I'm doing to the ends of all these branches here. So like this one, and these little branches you really you don't have to worry at all about shading because they're too thin to even show that sort of detail to them. And I think it's it's kind of a not a waste of time, but it's just uh, kind of like why you know if it's it's just easier to do it this way. And it I don't think the payoff would be that great if you, you try and put shadow in a line that's not even like a, an eighth of an inch thick. It just makes it easier just to uh, just to draw them in just like that. And I'm kind of, as I'm doing this, notice how, watch the movement of my hand. I, I kind of, I roll the pencil in my hand. See, see what I'm doing? Like, I'm just, I'm rolling it. And it creates these jagged lines from which point you could stem off more. See, see what I'm doing here?
All right, so I'm continuing that process where I roll the the charcoal pencil in my hand to create those irregular lines, and then wherever there's a bend in that line, I create another branch from it, and I just continue this process throughout wherever there are small branches in the drawing. Alright, so now I got that done, I'm going to put a little bit of detail within the tree. So I'm going to be using my retractable eraser, or mechanical eraser, whichever you prefer to call it. And I'm going to go in, and I'm just going to follow the uh, movement of the tree, and just put some eraser lines in, just to kind of show some bark or some things like that. Just following the movement of the tree. I'm also going to erase uh, parts of these highlights here. I'll put some of that line back in there. like that. This kind of gives the tree a little bit more um, like emotion I guess you could say. It just it portrays uh, more of a personality to the tree. Just like that. Now, there's no strict technique to this. I'm just going fairly random with it. So, um, right over here, duh. I had an eraser in my hand and I grabbed my other pencil to use the eraser on it. So, alright, so from there, I'm gonna leave it. So, Have it just like that. Um, just one last thing to this drawing. I'm going to add in some uh, root systems in here. Alright, so this is the very last part of the drawing. I'm just putting in the root system just to sort of plant the tree into the ground, if you will. So, um, I'm putting in a simple root system on the surface of the, the land, and I'm also going to shade in the ground a little bit to, to add in a shadow and also to put in some uh, grass, or to portray some grass and rocks and dirt and things like that. Um, so after this, this drawing will be complete. The final image for this drawing um, that will be posted right now uh, will be available on my Facebook fan page, so make sure you check the description and get the link to that. Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Leave a comment if you enjoyed it or if you have any ideas for future tutorials. Um, if you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up um, and also subscribe, it really helps me out. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll be back very soon with another tutorial.